Hey, how you doing, people? I'm out here at I'm Just Me 2131 Studios because I just started this channel and I don't have a good setup yet. So I'm borrowing my friends at I'm Just Me 2131. Uh, we've done a couple videos together if you watch my stuff, uh, and I highly suggest you go check his out. That's why I'm here. But we're here to discuss something called the Canic. This is the Canic. Uh, TP9 SFX. It is a built for competition pistol. Um, I am thoroughly impressed with the money I paid for it, which was a total of $549 out the door. Everything that you get is amazing what you get for this uh, amount of money. I'm going to go ahead and open this thing up real quick. Um, unfortunately, you cannot see it, but it comes with this little flapper that has all your background on it. But if I take this here and I turn it around here for a second, uh, bear with me. Here's what you get for that price. You get a holster, the gun, two magazines that carry 21 rounds plus one in the pipe for 22. You get all your little adjustments that you can put onto it to uh, put on a red dot. You get your cleaning kit, you get another back strap for the handle in case it's not quite right for your hand size, which I probably will be switching out to the bigger one. Um, but uh, my buddy and I'm just me, 2131 Studios, me and him have shot this, and I'm going to bring him in now, and we're going to talk about it. So, all right, people. Yeah, come on in here. Uh, my friend, let's discuss this firearm. Uh, we have already checked it. Uh, the magazines are going to stay out for now. I mean, I might pull one out so we can look at it here. Let's go ahead and bring one out. So there's the magazine. Um, it's got this little extension here that makes it where it can fire 21 instead of 18. So if you put one in the pipe, you get 22. All right. Let's talk about it. First of all, Canik is not the proper way to say it. It is a Turkish firearm, uh, so the proper way to say it is Janik, uh, I believe. And uh, I looked it up to find out what Canik means. And uh, Canik, or Janik, translates to canine. So uh, whenever I talked to the wife about buying this, I told her, don't worry about it. I didn't buy another firearm. I bought a dog. All right, so here we go. Let's take a look at her. Boy, howdy, is she nice. And she's empty, you can see. We're going to go ahead and lock her back. Mm -hmm. um, man, I can't, uh, we fired, what, maybe a total of uh, probably 50 rounds through it today just to kind of see how it goes. This is the first impression. He's going to cut the video on the firearm part and send it to me so I can attach it to my uh, YouTube channel, uh, Mr. 38 Special. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe so you can help me out. Um, and then also check out his channel right here. I'm just me, 2131. I would greatly appreciate it. I know he would too. And uh, I'm telling you, he's got a lot of content right now that it's great to go through. So uh, I'm going to let him start this off on his opinions of it. Uh, go ahead. Let's talk about it. What did you think? Uh, I like it, man. I like it. I like the weight. So it's a heavy firearm. I'm not sure what it weighs, but it really feels good, you know. Um, and it helps a lot with the. I don't think the recoil was that bad. No, no. I don't no. remember thinking about you know how how bad the recoil was. Um, talk about keeping it on target too. Well, you talk about accuracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, it's accurate for sure. Um, but first, before I go to accuracy, I will go over the look of it. Okay. I I think the look of it is amazing. Like it looks like a cool firearm. I know you don't you're not supposed to buy a firearm for how it looks, but let's, the styling looks good. Oh, Would you agree? Without a doubt. I mean, you, and you guys can see here, um, it just looks good. It's a good looking firearm. Uh, one thing that I did enjoy, and um, it's different for me, but I love this magazine release. Like the, the way it protrudes, Yes. It's, it's so cool to me. Well, again, like I said, this thing's set up for competition shooting. 
and it's there, so you know where it's at, and you can hit it and release that. I mean, if you were to load this so thing, up, let's just see. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're like that. Boom! You hit that button. It's gone. Yeah. You pick up the next one. You're not looking at it. Boom! It goes right back right. in. It is set up so you can do that all day long right. as fast as you can. Yeah. They okay. have a little piece you can put down there that makes sure it goes in. But if you've done it long enough and you've done it good enough, yeah. you should know. And it snaps it. in place really good. Oh I mean, yeah. You can hear it snap in place. Oh yeah. And the thing I like about it, okay. Now it's empty. It's not gonna do that. We'll just slide it forward. But let's turn it this way real quick. One of the things I like is you see this little dot right here. That's what it looks like when your cock's locked and ready to go, let you know. And if you look at those sights, look right down those sights, people. If I can get my hand to stay still for a second. You look down those sights right there, and you see that little lighting, that, that perfect little red yeah, dot right there. Dope. And that is something I absolutely love yeah. about this firearm. Let me see if I can get it on mine. You just got a flash of it. Um, well, you know. <laughs> I'm about blind as a bat right now. What, let me see. What dot are you talking about? Uh, when you look down the fire. Well, right, right here. No, that yeah, right there. That pull that trigger. It's gone. Oh, on. that's your. That's to let you know it's cocked. Ready to go. Uh, it's got that sight. Like I said, it's got that. Now you can see that little red dot. I hate doing that towards the camera, but there you it's go. Okay. Um, you know it, uh, amazing firearm for. I think it was 450 with tax and everything, and it ended up 550 out the door. And I do know it was actually 549 and some change, but I'm going to call it 550. And uh, without a doubt, it is one of the more expensive firearms I have ever purchased as far as a pistol goes. And uh, Canic, you did it right. This this is phenomenal. Also, the thing you were talking about in this box, it uh, has some adjustments that you can remove these. You can make it smaller if you want to. Um, <laughs> So it's it's not as uh, protruding. Yeah. But honestly, just that slide alone, man. There you go. Locked in place again. Uh, go ahead. Continue with your review. So I, I think it's important for um, – I do want I do want to show them this here. Because – and you, you can go to the side if you want to so people don't see it. You're, you're good. So – I want you guys to see. I'll edit mine out. Um, where is the camera? You at? You're right there. All right. So I want you guys to see what he's referring to is this red dot right here. Okay, right where my finger is. Now, when you pull that trigger, we are empty. You pull that trigger, and it's gone. That is impressive. I mean, because you really. I mean, if you if you have your gun just sitting around the house, and you need to know if you have one in the chamber or not. I mean, that's important. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you have multiple firearms and you're like, man, I can't remember if I kept this one loaded or not, that's a good indication. Let me do it right here. So what he's referring yeah. to, you guys can see. Without a doubt, phenomenal. Right here, there is a, a red indication that the firearm is ready to go. And as soon as you pull that trigger, it goes away. That means that there is nothing loaded, that the firearm is not loaded. And you pull it again. Now, and I would assume that if there's uh, ammo, if the magazine is in, it would just, you know, as it loads, it would just stay red. It would have that indication. Yeah, every time you fire and it reloads, it'll it'll bring that up. Yeah, However, cool. the, the term you're looking for is not that it was not loaded. It means that there is not, it's not cocked or in the chamber. Okay, gotcha. Or, or it shouldn't be. Right. Put right. That way. But again, safety rules. So what do we do to find out? Well, you do a push check. Push it back just a little bit. Take a look. Make sure there ain't nothing in there. Right. Even if that dot's there. Because right now that dot's there. There's nothing, there's nothing in, in there. But right. Yeah. Definitely. To prove the point, it does let you know that it's ready to go and you're you're hot and ready to fire. Yeah. Um, yep. Man, there are so many things you can go over with this. And I absolutely am in love with this gun. Mm -hmm. I am so glad I purchased it because I do plan on going into some uh, competition shooting when I get the chance. And uh, that's the whole reason I purchased this. Um, let's talk about breakdown. There you go. Boom. Pull that. Pull the trigger. Same thing as no, that's most. That's pretty easy. Plain and simple. Breaks it down nice and easy. Um, and then of course you know you take out your spring pin and all that. The barrel. Yeah. Just phenomenal firearm, uh, especially for the money. Yeah, show them one more time. So what are you pulling down? Oh, okay. Right there. You got these yeah, two no. little levers right it's there. It's on both you sides, right? Yep. Both sides. Pull, pull down, down. Pull the trigger. She's good to go. That's that's nice. And, uh, yeah, just 
and as you see, it uh, pretty much goes back together fairly easy. You get it back lined up where it needs to be. Plug it back, and she's good to go. Talk about pullback on it. Let's talk about the trigger, the trigger pull itself. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go here, do the trigger pull. There's your wall. Fire. Reset right there. I didn't even really move. Unfortunately, you couldn't see it because my big digit, and I'm a little awkwardly uh, paused right now. So let's do it again. Fall, fire, reset, right there. Yeah, no, that's impressive. Boom, 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 boom. And one thing I did like about it, the, the trigger pull feels good. That wall, I mean, it's so easy to get accustomed to it. Like, you know, you pull that trigger, you find that wall, and then you, of course, aim through. And you pull it back out, I mean, and, and it's accurate, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you will see how accurate when he sends me the copy of our shooting. Yeah. It. I couldn't believe it. I pretty much yeah. almost, almost, people almost took out the whole center. So, yeah, just phenomenal. Phenomenal firearm. Man, I can't think of anything bad to say about it. Yeah. Uh, it had one time when he was shooting it that it did what would be called a stovepipe. But I honestly think that that was either because it was the first time we'd fired it mm -hmm. or he limp wristed it. Something. Yeah. But, man, I'm telling you what, get out there and get one. Uh, they say that you can't buy accuracy. Well, <laughs> I'm here to tell you, maybe you can. Yeah. I mean, I'm a fairly accurate shooter. I'm not horrible in any means, but I was totally flabbergasted. Good job, Canik. Yep, and I'm gonna go back to the uh, I'm gonna go back to the front and rear sight real quick. Um, the fact that the and and again, what's the term? Is it highlighted? Is it um, the front sight? It's, it's a fiber optic. F so fiber optic, the light yeah. hits it, it lights it up. Yeah, like that is. I want you guys to see that. That is so dope. And that's what the Hellcat has, but it's not red. It's you know it's green or highlighted as opposed to it, it may not even be a fiber optic like this one is here. Well, uh, again, one of the things that uh, this thing comes with is you have these little plates. Yeah. They're all different numbers. These little plates are all different numbers, uh, just so you can see those. Mm -hmm. um, you would remove these two screws here, take that out, put on your plate, screw it into place, and you can attach red dots, scope, whatever it is you want. Mm -hmm. um, so you can be even more accurate. If you are a red dot guy, I am again an iron sight guy, so I probably will not mess much with that unless uh, competition shooting starts becoming something I'm really doing all the time. Then I might consider going to a red dot or something. Um, but for now, and how do you put those on? Uh, well, they have these two little screws here, and it comes with a little kit that has the tools in it. And I just go on top of it. Yep. Okay. Um, you'll remove it. You'll put it on there. You'll screw it down. Then you'll put your red dot on. That's your kind of this little kit trying to open it gently because it is just a little piece of plastic and it will fly everywhere. But this little kit comes with the other sized uh, mag releases. Okay. Um, comes with a little tool to remove all that stuff and tighten it down. Comes with this charging handle. So if you wanted to, you can even attach this charging handle to your uh, to your um, slide Got it. And, and you can just pull it back like that. You don't have to grab it with your hand. Gotcha. Um, oh, that'd be nice. Amazing little firearm. And it comes with extra little fiber optics. So if I wanted to, I could even change them out. So I don't know if you can see those, but there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Little fiber optic. Um, if I wanted to, I could change out that red one and readjust it. Um, like I said, again, man, for the price, you can't beat this thing. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say that, dude, you can tell by a smile on my face when he shows you the. Shooting, I was happy with this firearm. You forgot to hold it in. Oh, yes, I did. Yeah. But uh, without a doubt, good purchase. Highly recommend. Highly recommend it. <sighs> might be one of those things where Canik might start replacing my Tauruses. I doubt that, Taurus. I doubt it. Hey, Taurus, if you're watching, you can sponsor me. I'll let you. Um, so what, what is this here Taurus. for? <clears throat> What's that, man? Here, so this is your hammer release, but what is this one for? That's your release to slide the thing in the battery. Slide the, uh, <coughs> excuse me. 
Well, that's, that's what the hitters for, right? That, that right. No, when you pull it back, lock it in place. Oh, okay. Got you. Okay. It's just yeah, I was pulling over here. Okay, I got you. It's just part of it. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what got in my throat there, but. So, without any further ado, please watch my channel. Please watch his. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like, follow. The more likes and follows we get, the bigger we get, and the happier we are. And we say thank you to you.